Joe Masiri has been investigating some shocking claims about family court. It's a process experts called fraudulent, corrupt, and sometimes deadly. Neptune Police Sergeant Philip Seidel is accused of running his ex-wife Tammy off the road and shooting her at point-blank range with his service weapon in Asbury Park, New Jersey earlier this week. The entire incident playing out in front of the couple's seven-year-old daughter, one of nine children they shared. Just last month, the Seidels ended a messy divorce after a long custody battle. In the original court filings obtained by PIX11, Tammy claims her husband held a gun to her head and cocked it in a threatening and intimidating fashion and even kicked her in the stomach while she was pregnant. On another occasion, she said Seidel punched her in the face after she questioned him about charges for pornographic material on their cable bill. Still, it took two years in and out of family court to end the marriage. And as Seidel ended an hour-long standoff with police, multiple witnesses said he repeatedly yelled that he didn't want to go to court anymore as he held the gun to his head. Family court in New Jersey, in our opinion, is fraud and racketeering. I call it the greatest fraud ever perpetrated on the American public. Greg Roberts, founder of the Family Civil Liberties Union, says the family court system tears families apart. While lawyers lob verbal grenades at both sides and collect money, the family is the casualty laying in the wake. They treat families like criminals. Once you get into the family court system, you cannot get out of the family court system until your earnings and your savings are decimated. I think death would be easier than a divorce. The documentary Divorce Corp estimates divorce to be a $50 billion a year industry. And with little oversight, lawyers are incentivized to keep their clients in court to make as much money as possible. I was married only four months, and my divorce has lasted over six and a half years. Close to eight years. Eight years. When you have money, when you have assets, and when you have big income, these big firms have absolutely, positively, no interest in resolving your case. PIX11 recently obtained recordings of Jay Thatcher, a lawyer based in Clinton, New Jersey, who's been practicing family law for more than 40 years. We called and emailed Mr. Thatcher for comment, but he did not respond. He describes a system where lawyers keep their clients in the system as long as possible to reap big profits, a process known as churning. Everybody in the matrimonial business, all the lawyers are buddies. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody knows everybody. So if you and I are opposing matrimonial lawyers, and Joe Schmo comes in with millions of dollars, And no meaningful oversight. Former attorney Susan Sentenbrino says that's because the disciplinary committees are not doing their jobs. There is no meaningful oversight or accountability within our court system. Not over the $2 billion budget, not over the manner in which judges and attorneys behave. And um, it, it's really gotten to the point where we have, I believe, a very dangerous system that is compromising the lives of, of the families. From the moment that I stepped into the family court system in Monmouth County, New Jersey, um, I was shocked at how little justice I was given. Rachel Allentoff knows that system all too well. Allentoff says she lost custody of her son, who suffers from autism, when he was two years old without a hearing. That decision was overturned, but last year New Jersey courts stripped her of custody again. Now she has a RICO lawsuit against Governor Christie in the state of New Jersey to change the process. If you step into the family court system, you can guarantee that if you don't have deep pockets or a politically connected law firm, you're going to have your constitutional rights denied and your civil liberties ignored. The FCLU estimates that Allen Tofts is one of 50,000 families in the tri-state area affected by a broken family court system. Roberts says children often become pawns in the system because each state receives federal funding for every dollar of child support collected. So in many cases, child support is determined, child custody is determined by who's going to transfer the most money in child support and the state gets the most money.
Now we reached out to the New Jersey courts and asked for a sit-down interview with any of the presiding judges in the family division. They denied our request, citing the code of judicial conduct. However, they did tell us that the state is reimbursed for 66% of the costs of collecting child support. They also referred us to a study that showed 91% of divorce cases in the state are cleared within a year. As for reform, the FCLU has filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. The FTC said it could not comment on ongoing investigations. Katie